What you've just seen is a conversation I had with Honorable Minister for Information Kojo Opon Kroma uh, at his office back in Accra. Currently, I'm a few kilometers away from Accra, yes, uh, approaching Ofwasi Ayurebi. Yes, that's the place. Ofwasi Ayurebi. You know that with E vibes, where the story begins, we go. So you need to stick and stay and feel the vibe. Hey, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm okay. You found your way here. Yes, I did, <laughs> and it was quite a journey. I how many hours did you take? Three hours. Three hours. Well, yeah, Stressful. that's the average. Very that's stressful. the average. Yeah. So your day is normally like this, very busy. I I'm going downstairs to the assembly's general meeting. Another meeting. Yes, yes, yes. And then I'll meet a few people at home, and okay. then. We'll see what the rest of the day looks like. How? Okay, so you, there's, there's something else happening today. Um, I thought I would have like a small time, just a little bit of time. Yeah, like it's saying, be able to go. Well, we will have some time to sit maybe before sunset, okay. um, just around my residence, and then hopefully we can catch up. Okay. Okay? Okay, great. So um, I look forward to seeing you. So I, I noticed that your day has been extremely busy. Yes, yes, yes. And I think this is what it is, right? Well, typically, your, your because I don't stay in the constituency on a daily basis, and I usually come in uh, like on a weekly basis, you pack up the schedule and then you get to do a lot more by the time uh, you come in. And then you also have time to meet with family. If you don't sit down with the uncles and the aunties, they'll get upset with you. Ah, so ah, you have to. <laughs> I understand. So if I want to buy you a drink, yeah. considering the fact that you have a very busy schedule, like every single day, yeah. what drink would that be? Do you know fax beer? It's, it yeah, it's a nice black little can. If you get me one, we can sit down for a chat. <laughs> okay, I think I'll do that. All right, so I'll go into the meeting and I'll see you later. You heard the Honourable Minister. He will make time for us here on eVibes. And this is a very good reason for you to stick and stay with us because we'll be back. eVibes. Have time yes, for us. yes, yes. But yes. How, how was the meeting? What, what happened there? A bit heated. Um, so we were updating ourselves on projects that are going on in the district. Mm. Um, some of them are behind schedule, some of them are on time. And you have residents who are very unhappy about how some of the projects uh, have delayed and the normal pressure that comes with it. So uh, um, a bit heated. But in the end, I think when they also saw um, the flow of funds, etc., there's a bit of calm as well. Okay, so that basically exactly what happened at uh, that particular meeting. Yes, that was the analysis? assembly meeting okay. itself. Uh, from here, I will just be going to Ochreso to look at one of our tourist sites where we have some, um, some, uh, some, some, some fish um, and then a water body that we have some interesting stories about. If you have time, we'll pass by and I'll tell you about to. it. I would love to, but I mean, you don't come across as somebody who has... Uh, a happy life, not in that, you know. <laughs> I look oh, sad there. Eh? Yeah, he's smiling. <laughs> look at you. You're smiling. So, I mean, what do you do to unwind, you know, do we even have 
a day that you so, tell so yourself So, for that example, on weekends, okay. when I'm not here in the constituency on weekends, I'll probably be at home with the kids. Okay. And when they leave me alone, I would watch a lot of uh, television. I would do a lot of binge watching of uh, some Netflix series. Um, oh. And in the absence of that, if I have a good book, I like reading um, biographies. If I have a good book, um, then I'll spend some time on it. So, uh, do, I mean, when, because you mentioned Netflix, Ghanaian movies? Ghanaian, Nigerian. Where, where, in fact, where? currently I'm watching uh, the Nigerian series, uh, The Governor. I don't know if you've seen I've it. I've seen that. Yes. Um, initially, when I came across it, I thought it was, you know, one of those things. But I grew to love it episode by episode. Because so it's politically Perhaps, related. perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> um, I like things that have law, security, and politics embedded in it. Ah. So that's what I'm watching currently. Prior to that, I was watching um, Homeland um, up to season eight. And I'm still looking for the season finale. You do so, have time for series. Yeah, well, so on weekends, if I'm not in the constituency. I don't like series. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just, I'm not really too uh, interested in series. But the movies, you know, one hour you get to yeah, finish yeah. and forget yeah, no, about I like it. the series. Sometimes the suspense and then the different angles and the plot makes it interesting. How about uh, music? Do you have any of uh, Ghanaian Oh, I love music. I love playing? music. I like um, a lot of uh, hip life. Mm. Um, I like a bit of high life as well. And then I like the Afro beats that the Nigerian boys are doing between Amaka and Dumebi and um, uh, all of those ones. And then there's this one by Two Face where he says the girl is deceiving him on Instagram. Um, Anytime I call you, you say you day Ipaja. Mm. Anytime I call you, say you day my area. I say no wahala. No, that's a maka as well. Yes. Um, and then I think currently what I'm listening to is um, Aquabua and Flo King Stone. Stone. Blow my mind. Um, where's my phone? If I can find my playlist for you. Okay. So it is currently what's on my playlist. Sing that word. Uh, yeah, that's my current number one. It starts to blow my mind. I'm sure you know it. Yeah, so who's, who's blowing your mind? <laughs> <laughs>
So it's right around these same areas where we are talking to executives that listen, look for somebody who is young and has energy and can do X, Y, Z. And so when I left and I went to Accra, there he is, Rabi. That's oh. him. He's our organizer. There he is. He's Hello. one of the conspirators. And then um, two others, uh, Elijah Wow, he's not here. And then Mr. Samoa, they came back to me in Accra and said, we've been thinking about it and we think you should be our candidate. And how, so, did, you, how so, did you take it? Well, I, in, initially I was like, that's not my path. Mm. Um, that's not what I want to do. I want to practice my law, build my business and move on. But they're very persuasive. And um, after speaking to my wife, to the family, to a few of my spiritual advisors, we decided it's not a bad idea, let's do this. Mm. And I'm coming to the end of a first term. You see my branded cars. Yes. We're just yes. starting a campaign, hopefully for a second term. When and, and we'll see. And and then it happened. And yeah. you know, you're here. Lots of comments. Usually, I we are in the you know social media world. Yeah. When you go on social media and they're talking about yeah. you, some yeah. people refer to you yeah. as. I try you know, not the, to read them. Oh no no no! Good things. Most of them are I good. I try not to read them. You can get swollen headed, you can get broken in your spirit. Yeah. What you need to do is to focus on the work, so I try not to read but, them. But most, most of the comments, people actually, some, the, the few that I've read, they refer to you as our future president and all that. <laughs> mm. So I, I, I mean, you haven't heard. You, know, you haven't read. I hear people say all sort of things, but for social media comments, I try not to read them. Mm. But if I know anything about this place, the same people who said, uh, what, Hosanna, Hosanna, the ones who said, no, crucify you. him, crucify <laughs> him. So I no, take some of these things with no, a pinch but, of salt. But, but you, know, you know that we, we, uh, people can actually tell from the way you're moving, you know, tell the future kind of nah, thing. I think there are people who think I do a good job. There are people who think that um, I do a terrible doing, job, yeah. you know, that I've become a liar, I've become all sort of stuff. I get feedback. I try not to read on. I try to keep my eye on the job. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that when I'm done with my tenure, posterity will judge the kind of work I've done here. Mm. Something that has, uh, or something that started off as a mistake. Mm. Uh, now, would, would you say that it's a blessing to you? It's a blessed a... mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Blessed mistake. Blessed mistake, yeah, mm. yeah. So you haven't regretted it? No, You're no. not quitting anytime soon? Um, no, no, mm. I, am, I, am, I am in a good place. Um, I've always loved being part of the exercise to create value okay. um, and I think that I'm comfortable with what I'm doing. I get a lot of criticism, I get a lot of feedback but I'm focused on being able to deliver value. I'm sure you saw the main road when you were coming. Yeah. This road from my childhood has not seen any proper uh, construction on it. For the first time we are constructing this road from Oda all the way to Ofuasikuma it gives me some peace that mm. during my tenor, we were able to attract this here. And so I am comfortable. I hear what people say, but I'm comfortable that we are making some impact uh. and that someday posterity will judge us. I understand that you always, you know, during your childhood days, you come here to Ofansi to have your Easter celebrations Christmas, like all, yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you share some of the memories your brother was telling me earlier? Ah, uh, um, so when you come to a Nyinase proper, that's another village down here, that's, that's my paternal home. Mm. And usually when we have holidays, that's where my dad brings us. If we keep quiet for a moment, you can hear the birds, yes. still calm, all the noise in Accra and everything is gone. So it's peaceful and it's enjoyable being here um, during the vacations and you also get to contrast life in Accra with what um, a lot of persons go through on a daily basis. Uh -huh. I mean in Accra you may be growing up in a particular household and having some facilities and then when we come here for um, holidays you experience different things different things and a different side of uh, the world. Join my auntie um, Yamafua to her cocoa farm you begin to experience what it is like for people to be on a farm the whole day working through. So it gives you perspective. So I've always uh, enjoyed the peace and quiet uh, uh, here. And maybe someday when I'm old and I have some money, I will build something small When you're old and you have some money. <laughs> I'm a young man now. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How so young? I'm 38 now. Uh, okay. So someday when I'm old and I have some money, I'll find a nice little place and come rest here. Oh, there's dust on your... Yes, yes, yes. It's normal, you know. Um, going into the assembly building, etc. a bit of dust. So you pick it up, but... It's very nice. It's, uh, it's it's part of the job. Shoes that you have there. You they are, pick them, they are, you they pick are, them up yourself. 
Um, I yes. Mean, when, when, let's, let's talk about fashion. So yeah. when you wake up in the morning, your yeah. wife helps you with your attire? Or Let me start from design. the shoes. These are Horseman shoes, my good friend oh, um, Horseman. Yeah. And since 2008 or nine, no, since 2010 that I met him, mm. he's been doing my shoes uh, uh, for me. Okay. Um, and then usually for my African print shirts, um, it's um, Ikea who would uh, pick, it pick up. them up. Um, and then she, 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 she does a few kaftans. I only do the suits as well. So she'll pick some kaftans and then some African prints. Uh, usually she'll ask you, what are you doing today? Like, okay, I have parliament, I have this, this. okay, that will work. So oh, you don't have a style of your own that, okay, no, no, when no. I wake up in the morning, no, I No, 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 I am, I am, I'm hopeless when it comes to fashion. <laughs> but thankfully, she's got she's, it right in that yeah. area. So she covers up for me. Okay, that's, yeah. that's fantastic. But uh, what was the last time you, I mean, since, you know, we have a perception about uh, mm. big people in mm. society, mm. like politicians, mm -hmm. you're a minister. Mm -hmm. So do, do you remember the last time you cleaned or you picked polished up your, my own shoes. your own shoes, pick up your own things? I don't remember the last time I polished my shoes because my son does it. I grew up in a house where when my dad comes from work, there's a competition of who takes off his shoes and who does the polishing. Mm. And thankfully, my son, he's a bit older. He's 11. My daughter is uh, seven, but he's picked up. So okay. um, I kind of, uh, you know, have, somebody. have a young man who I'm <laughs> grooming in that area. <laughs> All right. So you, you did mention about... Uh, yes, 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 yes. Has, I understand that it has uh, catfish. Yes. Hopefully, we'll catch yes. hopefully, some. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we would uh, get to see uh, some fish. We have to call them out. I'll show you how we call them out. And okay. then... Um, if we're lucky, we can get um, a bit of it. But it's one of the places that we're trying to build into a nice little tourism spot okay. uh, here I'll, in the I'll, district. I'll, I'll take you there. I'll see it, and I'm sure a lot of people uh, would love to see it. Uh, this is a conversation we're having with Oromo Minister Kujo uh, Pong Kroma. Yes, uh, the whole idea is for you to get inspired. We're still here. The conversation is not over. I hope that by the end of this conversation, this chit chat, you pick up something. So let's go towards a ah. and see. The catfish there. Okay, hopefully mm -hmm. we'll catch. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. You can take this side. Oh, sure. Why?
This is quite an experience for me. I don't know, but uh, looking at this, I I didn't imagine that we have something like this in Ghana. Oh, really? Because you know, uh, I mean, somebody will say that it's just catfish. You know? Well, but What's this the big is deal? well. There's a whole history to it. Um, there's what we call the wooden cave or the etre, and the story is that uh, in the olden days, during battle, when they leave Buakwa and they want to disappear, they will show up here. Um, and when they need to do battle in other areas, they will consult the Kwaniakwa, which is this river here. Then based on that, get some strategies and go out there and then do battle and win. Uh, so it's beautiful, like I said, but we have to do more to let the world know about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I also noticed that you, 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 you seem to be grounded a lot here, like in your community. Yeah. When they were praying and, yeah. you know, when what you were saying, yeah. they understand that. <laughs> I realized that you've uh, picked up a lot yes, from yes, yes. your uh, community here. Yeah. How much uh, of influence has your community been on you as you know, a person in your career? Um, you know, sometimes when I speak to you on television and on radio, people are like, ah, he can speak to you, he can put the proverbs out there, etc. But the reality, like we were discussing earlier, is that uh, right from childhood, my dad will bring us home a lot of the times. Can you give me uh, a towel? Sorry. Oh, that's actually a present for you. There's a towel in there for your family. Thank you. This is from where? Vibes. Uh, so that's the name of the show is E Vibes. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes. This is by Calamax. Okay. This Calamax is by Calamax. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the towel. Um, so yes, my dad will bring us home. We have the opportunity to interact with chiefs and linguists and the elders. And you pick up, you pick up the proverbs, you pick up the local stories and the understanding. And I've been telling you that it's a beautiful, serene place to relax after all the crazy traffic and political cacophony in Accra. But what it does is that it grounds you. And so for every conversation that is going on at the national level that you are required to lead, um, you have to remind yourself of where you are from the interests of the people, how people can understand or not understand what you're talking about, and do your very best to break it down for, I mean, everybody to comprehend. So if you ask me, where I come from has a lot of influence on how I go about my daily work uh, today. Are we, I mean, since we're, we're talking about, you know, selling the, this place to the rest of the world, I'm sure that yeah. a lot of people would want to visit. And yes, yes, yes. Are we yes. ready? Not yet. Um, we have to do some investment here. We've worked with the tourism ministry. Mm. Uh, you know, they've just done uh, um, a fund for improving tourism facilities across the country. This is one of those that we've put in an application for. And our expectation is that once we get that one up and running, we will have an opportunity to uh, at least have a viewing deck somewhere here uh, so that people can sit, some activity can go on, uh, while they also have a good view of what is going on here. Seven years ago, um, you interviewed Amashi Didi. Yes, yes, yes. And I saw an interview yeah, with you and Kamase um, as well. Yes, Abodam. <laughs> so, so I got the link. Yeah. It was right. It was after the, the. So you have, you know, been here. You've been to you. So uh, let me let me start with the Amashi today. I mean, he's been he's he's still in this industry. It's been forty years. Yes, yes, And yes. he'll be celebrating his uh, forty years anniversary very soon. Yeah. Uh, you've seen how they you know, go about their music life and the quality of music that they're changing out. Yes. Uh, what do you make of, you know, the young crop of uh, musicians now? I think they are very talented. Mm -hmm. um, and now there are multiple channels to get your music out. Uh, earlier, you would require some more organization to put your music out. These days, it's easier to just do something and get it out there. But I think what a lot of our current musical talent could do with is um, some, some guidance and some coaching so that this new media world does not lead them to compromise on their talents or to do things that affect their brands, uh, sometimes irreparably. Because um, in their bid to you know, acquire some fame and some attention, mm -hmm. if you don't have well-structured management around you to guide you, you may go over the cliff mm -hmm. in some irreparable manner. 
And if you look at what Amachi Dede and Daddy Lumba and Kojo Enchi and all of these guys have done over the years, it's partly because they've had some organization around them. And I like to encourage our young colleagues to ensure that they get some decent organization around them. Not people that they are just bosses over, but people who can also boss over them and draw the line somewhere so that their talent is well managed and they can reap the benefits uh, for some more decades. Um, I also do love the uh, Kumawood movies. Um, uh, Ejako is somebody that I've enjoyed watching over the years, okay. uh, but um, currently I also enjoy, and he has a lot of these little, little um, skits out there. Lil Wynn, Lil yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a lot of interesting um, skits, and he can play various roles. Sometimes I, I'm amazed how he can switch from an old man to a young man to all of those ones. So there's a lot of talent, they do a lot of good work. Again, we have to find avenues to ensure that they can really milk their talent, uh -huh. make some money from it. Mm -hmm. And I think how, that... How do we do that? Um, it's about the distribution channels. And okay. like I mentioned, the Ministry of uh, Tourism and Creative Arts is uh, working okay. on ensuring that they have good distribution channels through which they can make money. And we can only wish them all the best. So far, um, what would you say would be your biggest achievement here? And what you've done for yeah. your... Uh, what, what would that be? I mean, apart from the infrastructure works that you see, uh -huh. the investments in education, I've succeeded in attracting to the constituency for the very first time a medical doctor. We'd never had a doctor since independence. Wow. So we've attracted a medical doctor. We have just um, finished construction of a, um, a theater uh, so that we can do surgeries here. Here? Yeah, yeah, here for the first time. It's in Brenasi, one of the villages just before um, Ofoase. And then in the area, apart from education and health and infrastructure, we've also done um, a lot of work in terms of putting a force area on the map. Because mm. a lot of people actually didn't know about this constituency. Yeah. Now they do. Now you are here visiting us. Yes. <laughs> there's a lot of um, Ofwansi, Kokobing, Yes, yes, so yes. There's, there's a lot no, of but, here. What uh, was the deal? Well, I think those who name some of these villages like to talk about under the tree or under the this or under something. Mm. So that's why you get the Asi, Asi, Asi. But... Yeah, a lot of work has gone on in infrastructure, education, health, um, and advocacy um, as well. Uh, I'm coming to the end of my work for this week, and then I'm going to head back to Accra and spend, spend, spend the weekend relaxing. <laughs> what would be your uh, biggest advice to the young ones out there? Uh, a couple of things. Um, I think one, try to create value in whatever environment you find yourself. Don't just be part of the pool, but try to create some exceptional value. That is number one. And then number two, let yourself go. Give yourself off. Like I said earlier, I wasn't going to go into politics, but yeah. when the people you saw challenged me, and you saw my relationship with them yeah. and how they go about stuff, when they challenged me that, listen, go out there, do it, be part of it, I decided to give myself to it. And I think that if young people give themselves um, to whatever enterprise and then they choose to create value and pursue some excellence in it, they will blow the minds of people around the world. But the, the recent, you know, primaries that was held, yeah. you, you went on, course, yes, what, yes, what yes. happened? What have you been doing differently? Oh, well, it's how I relate with my people and how I deliver what they ask me to deliver. And it gives them reason to, um, to give me an opportunity to continue. And like they say, we are sending you to go and do something. So go for it. And if you've sent somebody and he's doing a good job, you're not quick to change him. Mm. Of course, you're doing a very good job. I have, uh, I want to show you the rest of it. So this cup will wear for me. Oh. E vibes. Yes, I hope you wear it. You know, some of us have been blessed with big heads, so we yes. struggle with cups oh, like this. Yeah, it does. It, so it fits. Nice. Thank you. And there's Thank you. Another thing in there. Oh, there's a shirt in there. Okay. Hopefully, you can change your shirt because we took you round. It's been a sweaty day. Yeah. I hear you. I'm grateful. I'm yeah. grateful. When I do change, I'll do also. You can keep this in your... For my morning cup of coffee. Please. Because, you know, sometimes when you've had a late night and you're starting the day, yeah. what you need is a good... George, what you need is a good cup of coffee to shake you up and then um, to start the day. I am very grateful that you could do this with us. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get you dancing. You know how to dance? No, I'm terrible at dancing. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take you bike riding someday. And then, um, if you are not too scared, no, I'm not. you're not. I think it's that we can we'll see how you do when I take you bike riding someday. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Becky. We've been uh, having a conversation with Honorable Kudro Konkroma. I hope that you have been entertained. You love his style of music and everything that he stands for. 
I hope also that you have been inspired because that's the whole idea of this conversation. That's the whole idea of e-vibes. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It has been a beautiful one. Uh, I enjoyed myself. I would like to thank um, Yira for my beautiful hair and also G and J closet for my attire. And thank you to the production team. My name is Becky. Uh, you should watch out for the next personality on Evites.